Hey guys, so I recently picked up this PJY Tech Mantis tripod. I was really excited about some of the features that it had to offer. I do a lot of trail riding and outside video content and I thought this would be the perfect answer for my miniature tripod needs. You can mount it up in trees and off fences and stuff, which just kind of really opens up a lot of the terrain and shots that you're able to get. And so I took it out into the field, did a bit of a vlog with it, and I'll come back at the end of this video to let you know my thoughts on it. Enjoy. Very surreal out here today. My city's burning down. So anyone that knows me knows I don't actually live in the city. I live kind of out in the country. I was just doing a real estate shoot, so I'm kind of in the city and uh, it's just kind of amazed me how smoky it is in here. So I'm kind of just getting a, some footage before I head up the hill, which is also going to be interesting because we have our own fire situation happening up there. Time to head up the hill and see see what the damage is. We are we're on full on evacuation wait. Not not ordered. We haven't been ordered to evacuate yet, but uh, it's there. It's it's in our periphery. think about all this smoke dude I don't know because whenever we drive to town I look like everywhere to see if there's a forest fire to see if there's a forest fire and you don't see it usually it's got to be somewhere close by So thankfully the smoke's not quite as bad here. But like I said, there's a the list we submitted our phone number to in case an evacuation order comes up and then we gotta get out of here. So I have a little bit to do still. Like it's nice to think that we have these this pop-up trailer to go live in if we did get evacuated, but that's not gonna help us much if it's up. Oh, you'll be okay, won't ya? So it's times like these that I personally get can easily get overwhelmed with with things, things that need to happen. Your, your bug out bag, the trailer, what needs to be packed, what are we gonna do, how are we gonna get the dogs and the chickens, whatever, what is the plan for all that? And just like Anna says in Frozen 2, the only thing that I found that I can do is the next right thing. Do the next right thing. And for me right now in this moment, that right thing is taking this thing down. <laughs>
Okay, that was weird. I get it. Pretty meta. Using the tripod in my vlog, but not really drawing attention to it. I gotta be honest, I'm just testing things out here. I didn't know my city before going into this was going to be burning down when I went to town. But it seems like that's good stuff. That's some good stuff to vlog. So I, I don't know. I'm testing it. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm sure a lot of people are just going to skip to the end where I talk about this. So let's talk about it. So apart from the name PGY Tech Mantis Tripod, I love everything about this thing. Uh, it's obviously a small tripod, right? So they have their limitations. They can only, you know, be this far off the ground. But having the ability to hook this on to different surfaces, to different places, kind of solves the problem of having this tripod on the ground because it doesn't always have to be on the ground anymore. So that's just an example of one of the problems they've solved with this. I feel like they've solved all kinds of problems with this tripod. So first of all, just to be able to put the feet away so you can vlog with it like this. Fantastic. The mic, this is probably one of my favorite features of the whole thing. Once you stick it, the mic in the hot shoe there, you can spin it around for when you're filming other people. Um, it's Got a quick release here to pull your camera off if you just want to shoot with it. Obviously my mic's still attached. So everything on it just feels like it's really thought out. I love how it's got the swivel so you can swivel the camera, but also it's got the ball head. So we all like the ball heads because it gives you infinite possibilities to position your camera. But then having this swivel, which actually has some dampening if you don't open it all the way. So you can do slow pans with this little tripod. And all of the features are smart enough that I actually use them, which is kind of... I feel like I have a lot of gear that has features that I could use, but I don't use it because they're clunky and they just don't work that well. Even the extended arm here, like watch how quickly, this might be a fool's errand here, but watch how quickly I can adjust this to extend mode. So I'm going to push this button and this button together so that it's extended out. Pull this off. Now I got my camera here. Slide that in. Tighten it down. That didn't take very long. And then obviously you want to plug in your mic again. And what I love about this is the mic is actually a closer to me. So I get better audio, but then obviously I get the range from it. It's great for when I was doing my one wheel rides. I, I had my phone attached to this because I actually like the footage I get out of my phone when I'm on the trails more than hauling this clunker around. And you know, like right here, you have your, your phone attachment to hook that up here, and that's just always with me. So I just, I can't say enough about how awesome this is, and I can't see myself using anything else but this when I'm doing any sort of vlog type filming from now on. It's, forget your Gorilla Pods, man, that is old tech. We know they wear out, they suck. This has hard stops that click into place, so it's not going to slowly slide away from you and fall off the tree or whatever it is where it's attached. It's just the best vlogging tripod that exists right now. That's all I really need to say. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, tell your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. As a former 1974 Vanguard motorhome owner, I'd just like to say that uh, tent trailers suck balls. <laughs>